So today I want to talk about the very unique Hi-Fi Rose RA180 integrated amplifier. I will start out by saying there's no integrated amp on the market quite like the RA180. So I have to give it to, hand it to Hi-Fi Rose for creating this what some may call a masterpiece of visual design and what others may call not so much a masterpiece of visual design. Now, when I first received this in from the music room to review, put it in and I thought it was really cool looking, very well made, metal dial, solid construction. You can't ask for better construction. I remember listening to it for the first week and thinking, there's things I like about it, but there was an overall smoothness to it that I couldn't shake. Uh, so as the days grew on, I actually started to not really like the sound signature of the Hi-Fi Rose so much. It was forward, yet it was smooth at the same time, and it sounded a little flat to me. But, but, I figured out what the problem was as my audition went further, and as of today, I think this amp sounds extraordinarily good. It's actually rather amazing when you add in what the features this amp has. You mix that with the sound quality, you mix that with the build quality, as well as the aesthetics if you like the look of it. I happen to love the look of this, and I also love the solidity of all the knobs and switches. I don't see that very often, and I'll say it right now, yes, this was made in South Korea, but Hi-Fi Rose has been making a splash in the Hi-Fi community here in America with some really unique products that are really punching above their weight. Their streamers are excellent. My favorite all-in-one streamer when I consider features, looks, build, sound quality, and price is the Hi-Fi Rose 150B. I did that review a few months back. I really, really think that is a tremendous product for the hi-fi community. Can the RA180 that comes in at more money, this is a $69.99, almost 7,000 US dollar integrated amp, can this match the performance and vibe of that 150B? Well, I'll say yes, and not only does it match that performance, I think it exceeds the performance of the 150B. This is a really spectacular product, but it took me a little while, two, three weeks here, to really appreciate what it is, what it does, and what it can do and did for my system. I, when I was listening to it that first week, and I was not sure I was really liking it much, um, I was running it with my Cardus Clear Reflection speaker cables and interconnects, and it seemed to have a um, smooth, uh, forward with the details, but they weren't sparkly really. It just sounded forward, but a little dull, right? And I was like, is this that class D thing? Because this is really a class D amplifier with some enhancements. Um, but when I switched out the Cardus Clear Reflection for my Nordist Blue Heaven, or even those $40 cables I rave about all the time, this thing opened up, became way more three-dimensional, the sparkle was back, and that smoothness that was uh, almost too smooth really uh, went away. So this proves that cables do make a difference, but in this case, it was the much less expensive cable that sounded better with this amp. So it was pretty remarkable. And as I switched those cables and started listening more and more to the Hi-Fi Rose, I sat there and I scratched my head and I said, did I make the right decision in choosing the name? Because this amp is a powerhouse of an amp. It is a great amp for a audio reviewer to have because it can power just about any speaker you throw at it. It sounds fantastic with my high sensitivity speakers and even speakers that are harder to drive. This thing is just feature packed and while it is class D and while in the past, I've never really enjoyed Class D so much, not enough to buy one or keep one for long. Um, today's Class D is different. Now, this amp, Hi-Fi Rose, um, says it's going to sound closer to a Class AB style of amp, even with maybe some Class A characteristics thrown in. That's because they're using GAN-FET technology. 
uh, with the uh, Class D amplifier. This in turn makes it sound a little more luscious and sweeter and open and three-dimensional. In the past, those early Class D amps were a little flat. Some of them had a sheen, some of them were analytical, some of them were ear bleeders where um, you, know, you get fatigued after a while. But today's Class D amps made by Techniques, made by Hi-Fi Rose here, using that GANFET technology really brings these amps into their own. Let's go into the front panel and the rear and talk about the features of the Hi-Fi Rose RA180. All right, let's take a closer look at the Hi-Fi Rose RA180. Over here on the left, you have your selector switch, which is very solid feeling. It clicks with authority and confidence. It feels smooth. Nothing feels cheap, loose, or wobbly. This is a really nice input selector. You have line one, line two, line three, phono, and balance. Over here, you have your bass and treble control, your tone control. And as long as it's off, you're in bypass. So if you want to activate it, you turn it on, you'll see a light up here, come on, and you can adjust the bass and the treble. It's very nice, it's nothing extreme, it sounds very natural actually. Down here you have your high frequency crossover. Uh, I haven't really messed with that, that's more of an advanced feature, um, but it is there, it's very cool to have. You have here your um, balance right there, and there is a click stop in the middle, uh, so that way you know you're getting an even signal on both sides. Down here you have your phono amp, you turn that on to activate it, and you have an equalizer here where you can actually adjust the settings and tailor the sound to your cartridge, to your speakers. I love this phono preamp. It's a moving magnet or moving coil, so you can use either or with this phono preamp, and it sounds excellent. Very nice built-in phono preamp. So a lot of people like VU meters, and they put little ones in, kind of reminiscent of Nagra gear. Now, Nagra is Swiss-made, uber top-of-the-line, uber expensive gear, beautiful gear, and in a way, the Hi-Fi Rose kind of resembles Nagra gear, especially with these VU meters. Now, the light, you can actually dim those if you don't want them on. You can make them dim, bright, or turn them off. So that's a really cool feature as well. Now here you have your volume control, which is big and loaded with gears, right? When you turn the volume, you will see the gears move, and it's kind of a cool visual aesthetic. Some people will love that, some people maybe not but you have five gears in here that uh, make up the volume control. It feels quite different from most other. You can feel the uh, gears uh, in your hand when you move this. So it's kind of cool, it's unique, it's different. And I give Hi-Fi Rose credit for thinking outside the box. And instead of just putting a big black volume knob on there, they actually tried to be creative and make it look really nice. And at nighttime, it looks really, really cool. Now here you have your speaker output selector because you can hook up two sets of speakers to this. And that reminds me of integrateds from back in the day when you can hook up multiple speakers to the amp. So if I want speaker A, I can play those. If I have speakers in the next room and I wired them, you know, through the walls or whatever, I can switch to B and uh, play speakers in a totally different room. You can also turn it off. Very, very cool. Down here is the dimmer, as I showed you. Here's a subsonic filter. So if you're playing your turntable and you're getting that boom rumble bass, you can turn that on and that will take care of that problem. Let's turn it around and look at the back of the amp. Now, when I first saw the back of this amp, I was like, holy cow, look at all of these speaker connectors, right? But on the back, you have your phono input because it does have the built-in phono preamp. You have your phono ground. So if you hook up your record player to it, you wanna hook your ground cable up to there. You do have an XLR input, one XLR in, so it's balanced there, um, which is very cool to have. If you are running a balanced connection, you will go right there. Now down here, you have your unbalanced inputs. You have uh, your line one, line two, and line three bypass. Now this can be used as an amplifier. You can actually run this as an amp and hook up a preamp to it if you so desire. Uh, here is your phono switch. 
for moving magnets and moving coil. It does have a subwoofer out as well. If you want an easy connection to a subwoofer, it's right there. Now the top row here is your speaker A right, speaker A left. Down at the bottom is speaker B right and speaker B left. Now, if you're just hooking up normal speakers, this is how I did. If your speakers are not bi-wireable and you just have a single connection, you're going to hook them up here, right? So speaker A, you're gonna to go to the right side for your right speaker, negative and positive, and speaker left, negative and positive. Uh, you start getting into these other outputs here, for example, if you wanna run it in um, double the power mode, there's a bridged mode because there's two amplifiers in here. You can go up to 400 watts on this, uh, and it's absolutely insane. Down here is what they call the BTL mode. If you wanna get into any of that, um, you just either turn, on, uh, turn it off. I use it off. You can go into 400 watt mode for a pair of speakers, or you can use both amps, for example. Uh, you can send one to the bass and one to the treble if you have bi-wireable speakers. It's kind of crazy what they packed into this amp. All right, let's do some quick comparisons. So compared to the Enlium Amp 23R, the Enlium is a little bit sharper in its uh, top end. It has a little more... Uh, come out at you vibe with the energy. The Enlium is a high energy amp. It's an exciting listen and depending on the speakers you choose, you have to be careful with the pairing. If you pair bright speakers with the Enlium, you're gonna get a bright sound. Now in comparison, the Hi-Fi Rose is a little bit bolder and bigger and it just has an effortless power about it because it is a powerful amplifier. Um, but the Rose, is a little smoother, right? A little smoother in the mid-range and a little fuller in the bottom end. It's not as sparkly in the top as the Enlium, but it still sounds really, really nice. Of course, the Hi-Fi Rose has a lot more features, your phono preamp, your EQ, etc. cetera, um, but these are both really fantastic sounding amplifiers. The Enlium has a world-class headphone amp built in the Rose does not, uh, compared to the name Supernate 3. Now the Supernate 3 has a more dense presentation. It's not as expansive and reach out and touch you as the RA180. It's more dense in the mid bass and the bottom end. It just has that fullness about it that brings that blood, sweat, and tears to the voices. The Rose, on the other hand, is for those of you who like that detail, who like the detail but without harshness. Uh, the the three-dimensionality, the big soundscape, the big sound stage, right? The RA180 does that. It's a little bit leaner in the mids than the name, but it still sounds absolutely gorgeous. You gotta pick and choose. The RA180 is a little bit drier, not as juicy with the Fleetwood DeVilles, right? But it still sounds superb, right? You gotta weigh the feature options and the power options. You're getting a lot more power with the Hi-Fi Rose. Um, now going from memory compared to something like the Luxman 590AX2, right? The 590AX2 is a world-class integrated amp uh, amongst my favorite of all time. It has a sweetness about it. It has a way of bringing those details out uh, with a sweetness and a life. And it's, it's a unique sounding amp. In comparison, the RA180 is a little bit drier, uh, but the RA180 has a bigger presence about it. It's more effortless sounding. It's not as um, crisp, I don't wanna say crispy. It's not as, uh, the detail is not as fine as the Luxman. The Luxman has a way of bringing out details with warmth and life, but you still get the details. Nothing is muted. The RA180 has a little bit of smoothness about it, which is a little bit of that Class D character, but again, the Rose still sounds fantastic. And the Rose build quality is, a core, you know, from everything I've seen here and used and looked at, it's every bit the equal of the Luxman without question. Compared to the Pass Labs XA 60.8 monos I have here with the XP22 preamp, that is a mighty powerful amplification solution that's gonna cost some bucks. How does the Rose compare to that? Again. 
the Rose seems more powerful. It seems bigger in scale, but not as sweet and not as delicate and not as um, magical. I like to use that word sometimes as the Past Labs, but the Past Labs doesn't have the oomph and that uh, feeling of unlimited power that the Rose has. So I feel the Rose would be a better solution for people with harder to drive speakers because I feel this guy can power just about anything. So conclusions, the Hi-Fi Rose RA 180 is a superb integrated amp. You either are gonna love the looks or you're not gonna love the looks. For those of you who love the looks and you're curious if it looks cheap in person, in no way does it feel or look cheap in person. Every dial, every switch is solid and it's a powerhouse of an amp. It's one of the most beautiful amps in the flesh that I have come across. Just as beautiful in its own way as the Luxman's, for example, right? It's a special amp, it's unique. You're not gonna find anything like it. There's no copycats. Hi-Fi Rose thought outside the box. They created an amp, they took their time with it. I think they said it was originally gonna be class A, then they were gonna make it class AB, and then they decided to go class D because they were able to make it sound like a class AB amp, but it's efficient, right? It's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to power. It's dead silent in operation. There's no hums, there's no buzzes. It's a sweet amp and those VU meters in the dark and that volume dial in the dark, they just look beautiful. I'm just like you guys. I'm, I'm not getting paid to do reviews. I don't get these kickbacks where here, here's a check for this for uh, advertising. I'm not advertising. I'm just talking about my experience with the amp. Um, so sometimes I get excited about them, which you can tell in videos, and sometimes I'm more calm. Uh, but one thing is for sure, if I don't like a product, I send it back. I do not review it because I will not uh, do a negative review because I don't like negativity, and I will not talk positively about a product that I don't feel is worth the money. The RA180 I do feel is worth the investment. It looks like it will last a long, long time without issue. And I think Hi-Fi Rose is trying to make a statement in the Hi-Fi world by producing and releasing, creating beautiful works of art that sound lovely as well. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Hi-Fi Rose and be sure to check out The Music Room, uh, tmraudio.com. They kindly sent this to me to review and uh, I wanna thank them for that. They offer tons of used gear that they vet and check out and post pictures of they sell and their dealers for new gear such as the Hi-Fi Rose. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all, I love you all and I will see you next time.